Hello and welcome to Inside EVs. Today we are having a drag race between the BMW i3 and the brand new Mini Cooper SE, the electric one. So Tom, tell us about the Mini. So on paper, I should win because we have the motor of the BMW i3 S which is more powerful. It has 181 horsepower, 199 pound-feet of torque. That BMW over there has 170 horsepower, 184 pound-feet of torque. The vehicles weigh about the same because while the i3 BEV weighs less, this i3 has the range extender, which adds about 300 pounds of weight, equalizing the rate. The, I, I believe the, the weight of these two cars is within 50 pounds. Yeah, they're almost so, identical. So yeah, so I mean, this should be a good race. And the other thing to note is the Mini has a bigger battery pack, 29 kilowatt hour usable. This is like 18 usable, yeah. right? Uh, so well, that was new. Right, and so <laughs> both cars are completely fully charged to 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been driven today and driven hard. So they're all warmed up, they're all warmed up. optimum temperature. It's about 60 degrees out. Right, we have no headwind. It's a side wind going down the uh, straightaway. I don't know, I think the, uh, the Mini will win. I, you know, I, I mean, I think the Mini feels more sprightly, but what, what do you being think? Being a BMW i3 owner, I, I owned an i3 Rex just like this, um, but then two years ago I got the i3 S, and to me, I think the i3 is going to win, um, but it might be because my feelings are skewed towards having the i3 S, which was more powerful. So. I'm not sure now, but uh, if I had a bet, I think the i3 is gonna win. Well, what this is really a case of is front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. Will the Mini spin the tires off the line? I don't know, I haven't launched it yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, my plan, because this car does not have a sport mode, is to go comfort mode. <laughs> well, that's as sport as it gets yep, for that. I'll go dynamic traction control, because yeah. you can't turn it completely off. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just gonna mash the pedal as soon as uh, the flag goes. What, what's it. your plan? I'm flipping sport it in mode. sport mode, mashing the accelerator, and we'll see. I, Are I, you gonna go you dynamic know, traction, I, a little wheel spin? I don't know if that's gonna help. Um, I wanna win, even though I think the i3 is gonna win. Right. Um, so I'm not sure. Wheel uh, spin is not faster, but what yeah. can kill you is when traction control cuts in, yeah. it may not give you full power instantly. So it might be a little bit of a game. Hmm. Uh, we might I have to do a couple it. runs. Yeah, we'll but, see. But uh, I think we're charged up. Let's yeah. go, let's go rip them down that quarter mile. All right, let's get the i3 set up. So I've put it in the sportiest mode, which is comfort. There's no sport mode unless you get an i3S. I'm gonna to go to settings, traction control, and dynamic traction control. The car won't spin the tires off the line, but I want no risk of it cutting in. All right, getting ready here. We're lined up and uh, this should be fun. I think he's gonna take me, but uh, I'm gonna give it my best shot. I think, I think he's gonna win, let's see. Oh, he got the jump off the line. I got him off the line, but I might have jumped it. I'm pulling on him. The Mini pulls harder off the line for sure. Oh, and it keeps pulling. We're up to pulling maximum speed. Oh, it's just walking away. beating them pretty badly at this point. Just walking away. Oh, but now we're at 80, it's the same. Yep. Jeez, the Mini takes it. Yes, we won. Beat them by a good portion. That wasn't even close. Oh, the little i3, it did well, it did well. We may have to grab an i3S to test it. This car has a lot more space. It's, uh, you know, it's more sustainable than the Mini. The i3 wins in other ways. <laughs> and because we didn't launch at the exact same time, we did another run. Take a look. I 
lost in the poor i3. Yeah, I was a little surprised that the, this, you know, launched better and it it pulls more the, almost the whole way. Well, that's the biggest difference. Yeah. I think, you know, on the first run, we did two separate runs. Yeah. On the first run, you had a slight jump, but even then you could tell instantly that the car just was faster. I was pulling from the you whole right, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, only until we got to about 80 miles an hour or so did we even out. Mm -hmm. um, but you had a massive lead by that point. Yeah. But on the second run, we launched identically. It was a mm -hmm. perfect start. And uh, the cars, I mean, I was looking right over at you yeah. until we hit 30 miles per hour. And yeah. both of these cars have limited acceleration off the line. The i3 is on the newer software to protect the rear axles. Mm -hmm. uh, so an older i3 would have had the jump on the Mini. Yeah. Uh, so if you have an old i3, don't update your software because it's faster. <laughs> <laughs> you might blow your spleens oh, or your you rear motor, but you know, hell, uh, Speed it's comes at a cost sometimes. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, they, they launched pretty evenly, but again, 30 miles an hour, this thing is just turned up to 11 and this is held back. So. Ab absolutely, I'm surprised, uh, even though that is the range extended version, uh, so it's a little bit slower than the BEV, I really thought that it was going to beat the Mini. And uh, I just, I haven't driven one of those versions in three years now. Right. You know, I had the i3S for two years and maybe I just got used to that, but I, I, I fully believe the i3s will, will beat this but i wish we could get one of those maybe we will at some point in the future that's right but um for now you know if, uh the mini cooper se definitely is faster by a good good margin yeah than, than the than poor the little i3, I3. I3. Uh, but i will say you know both cars still have, have plenty of power for daily driving mm -hmm. we're not talking ludicrous model s speeds here yeah. we're talking you know normal everyday electric cars um, for what these were designed yeah to, for what know, they were they're, designed they're both for kind of city cars yeah but they're sporty and, and they're pretty they quick are. i mean exactly. they um the the biggest thing that i noticed was at 80 miles an hour we were neck and like not neck and neck but the acceleration was the same that was yeah. pretty wild to see mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching Inside EVs. If you want to see more drag races with electric cars and track tests and other fun things, road trips, full reviews, click that little subscribe button down below. Leave a comment as to what you'd like to see us drag race here at the Inside EVs racetrack, and we'll catch you at the next episode.